Hey guys, this is John from Sonic Drive Studio. Thanks for tuning into this channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get some very convincing Metallica presets on your Line 6 Helix. And for this video I'm using Helix Native in my DAW, which is Cubase 9.5. But you can also dial these tones in on your Helix hardware. So I have three tones set up here and they are based on Metallica's current live tones. As you may know already, Metallica currently uses the Fractal Audio XFX for their live tones. But that doesn't mean that you can't get great Metallica sound from the Line 6 Helix. The first tone is a clean tone based on James Hetfield's live clean tone. Then the second tone is based on James Hetfield's rhythm tone. And the third tone is based on Kirk Hammett's lead tone with the wah. Let's start off with the clean tone. And let's take a listen first. <laughs> To my ears that sounds a lot like James' live tone. I'd like to add that I used my ESP LTD Iron Cross James Hetfield signature guitar with the EMG headset pickups. And this was the neck pickup. James likes to use his neck pickup for clean tones. Okay, let's take a look at how I achieved these tones. So first in the chain is Helix Native. And then we start off the chain with a compressor. I chose a compressor from the Legacy Effects from the M-Series. And I decided to go with the Veta Juice compressor, just to add some gentle compression and to even out the dynamics of the guitar a little bit. And we're using it subtly, so uh, the amount is set to 0.04 and the level is set to 0.43. Then we're going into a mod block here, and for that I'm using the chorus in the mono folder here. And I have the settings dialed in so that it sounds quite similar to James's live chorus sound. I have the speed set to 2.2 depth to 7.4. Uh, I turn down the pre-delay all the way to zero. Wave shape is set to triangle. Tone is set to 5.1 and mix is set to 40%. And then of course for the amp tones we're using the Jazz Rivet 120 amp and this is based on a Roland Jazz Chorus which is the exact amp that James likes to use for his clean tones at least when he's not using the Axe effects because in the Axe FX they also use a Jazz Chorus simulation. Drive is set to 2.5, Bass is set to 6.2, and we've scooped the mids quite low, and I have it set to 0.6. Treble is set to 5, and Presence is turned up all the way. And this is perhaps the most important setting here. Uh, it's the Bright Control, and I have it turned up all the way to 10. And then of course another very important aspect to getting a great guitar tone is the cabinet sound. So for this purpose I'm using Ownhammer IRs with the Ignite Amps NAT IR plugin, which is a free impulse loader. And as I explained in other videos, I use an external cab loader just because it's easier to browse through uh, the IR folders in your computer. Of course you can also just load these impulses into your Helix native plugin or Helix hardware. It will sound just about the same. So I have the quality set to extreme and I'm using an IR from the California Duo collection which is a pack by Ownhammer which includes two Mesa Boogie cabinets with four speaker types each and uh, this particular cab is a three-quarter Mesa Boogie 2x12 cabinet with V30s in it and for this tone I chose the Cut plus 121 mix and that's all for this tone. Let's take another quick listen. Yeah, so that sounds great, and it really reminds me of James's live tone. Now on to probably the most important part of Metallica's sound, which is James Hetfield's rhythm guitar tone. I used the Iron Cross LTD again, this time with the bridge humbucker. Let's take a listen first. <laughs>
I really like how that tone turned out. It really sounds close to James's live rhythm tone. So again, we're proving here that Helix is very flexible and you can get many great sounds out of this platform. So James is known for using a dual amp setup for his live tones. So uh, we're starting off the chain with the input noise gate here. It's set to on, of course, and the threshold is set to minus 71, just to get rid of uh, some background noise and hiss. For the first amp tone, we're using the Kali 4 lead amp, which is based on a Mesa Boogie Mark 4 amp. It can sound quite similar to the famous Mark 2 C plus amp, which has been used a lot in the Metallica history for that classic metal crunch. Let's take a look at the amp settings here. So we have the lead gain set to 8.7, lead drive to 7.6, bass is set to 1.7, Remember to not set this too high, otherwise your low end can get a bit muddy. So we have this turned down quite a bit. And we have a mid set to 2.6, treble raised to 7.5, channel volume is also set quite high to 9.6. Presence is set to 4.8, and the master volume is also set to 4.8. The default settings for the master volume are quite high, so I like to lower them a little bit. This makes the guitar sound a bit more open, and less compressed. I have raised the sag to 5.5 here. And then we're moving on to the graphical equalizer, which I have set to a very classic setting. It's the metal V. The low frequencies are set to zero. The low mid frequencies are set to minus 3.1. The mid frequencies are set to minus 10. And the upper mid frequencies are set to minus 2.9. And I've also added 0.3 dBs of high frequencies. This sounds very tight and very aggressive, just like the old Metallica classic crunch sound. Then we're going over to the second amp, which is the Solo Lead Overdrive amp channel. And it's based on a Soldano amp. I know that James doesn't use Soldano amps on stage. In fact, he used to use the diesel VH4 amp on the channel 3 setting, but we don't have those in the Helix and this will do just fine. This amp takes care of the modern side of the sound, so it's a bit more fuzzy, a bit more loose, and a bit more big sounding. It sounds a little bit like a Mesa Boogie rectifier, and James also used to use that in his older rig, so it will sound pretty close. Drive is set to 5.8. Bass is set to 5.5, the mids are turned down to 2.6, treble is set to 5.4, presence is set to 5.7, channel volume is set to 6.2, the master is set to 4.8, and sag is turned up quite a bit to 6.8. Other than that, I didn't change anything in the amp block. And then to finalize the tone, I'm using a paramatic equalizer. I'm using this to slightly tweak the tone a little bit further. So basically with the EQ on, it sounds a little bit brighter and a little bit less muddy. I have the low frequency set to 190 hertz. The Q is set to 3.4 and the gain is set to minus 3.3. So that's taking care of some of that low mid wooliness. So the mid frequency is set to 360 hertz. Q is set to one and gain is set to minus 3.1. And then finally, we're removing some more mids at 690 hertz with a Q of 1.1, and we're dipping that out at minus 3.5 dBs. And we're just cutting some highs above 14.9 kilohertz. And I've boosted the level 3.2 dBs to compensate for the level loss. That's all that's happening in this preset. Let's go over to the impulse loader using the same settings for the Ignite Amps plugin, but for the cab, I'm using the Onhammer 4x12 traditional Mesa cabinet, which is also from the California Duo. And I chose the V60 speaker option, which is basically based on a V30 speaker by Celestian. And I chose the Onhammer 105 mix from the Quick Start folder. As I've explained in earlier videos, I do not often deviate from those folders. So the quick start folder is almost always perfect for the job. So that's all for the rhythm tone. Let's take another listen and then move on to the Kirk Lee tone. <laughs> Sounds great. All right, let's take a look at Kirk's lead live tone with a wah. 
Note that I currently have no way of controlling the wah with a foot pedal in Helix Native. So in this case, I just drew it in by hand with the automation function. Let's take a listen. <laughs> For this tone, I used my ESP LTD KH602, which is a Kirk Hammett signature model, and it has EMG pickups in it, and it has a Floyd Rose, of course. So that already helps a bit with getting the right tone. Now over to Helix Native. So we're starting off the chain with the wah block, which is being controlled by knob 1 here, and I have that assigned to the automation lane here. I chose the throaty wah because it gave the most Kirk Hammett-like wah tone. I did change the low frequency to 310 hertz and the high frequency is set to 1.9 kilohertz. That's all that I did here. From there we're going to a drive block and we're using the Scream 808 drive model which is based on a tube screamer and Kirk is well known for using a tube screamer for most of his dirty tones. Gain is set to 1.6, tone is set to 6.5 and level is set to 6.8. From that, we're going into the Kali rectifier amp. And the drive is set to 7.4, bass is set to 5.6, mids are set to 5.3, treble is set to 5.1, presence is set quite low, it's set to 3.8, channel volume is set to 8.7, master is set to 3, sag is turned to 2.5, now for his live tones, he also likes to use dual amp setups, but I just got the best results with this particular setup. One amp, a dry block, and a wah, and sounds just fine. And then I'm using a delay, just to add some ambience to the tone. And I chose the vintage digital delay. Time is set to 500 milliseconds, which is the default, I believe. Feedback is set to 45%. I turned the sample rate up one notch. And mix is set to 20%. That's all that I adjusted here. And from there we're going into an equalizer block. Pretty basic, it's just a low and high cut and we're using this only for the high cut. Just to tame the top end fizz a little bit. And I have it set to 14.4 kilohertz. So that's all for this tone. Now let's go over to the cabinet loader. Again, the 4x12 traditional own hammer cab from the California Duo, but in this case I use the V70 speaker option. This is also based on a Celestian V30 speaker. It just has some warmer tonal characteristics than the V60 option. And in this case I chose the modern M Plus mix, also from the Quick Start folder. It has some nice warm and solid mids going on. So that's basically all you have to do to achieve some great Metallica live presets on your Helix. Let's take one more listen to all three tones.
So that's all for this video. Thanks so much for watching and if you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe and follow us on facebook.com slash sonicdrivestudio. For more information about the Line 6 Helix, visit line6.com and for more info about the Ownhammer cabinets, just visit ownhammer.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!